So it comes in a nice round package, pretty hard material. So I'm not expecting any damage on the inside. We're gonna go ahead and pop this thing open. And if I go off camera, I apologize. My lens is not very wide angle and I don't want you seeing my entire messy kitchen. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and pop off this top lid here, if I can. It's actually really on there, stand by. So once you get your device out, you'll notice that it comes with a little manual. It's very simple. You plug it in, put your material in, push a button, and it does its thing. Supposedly it's got sensors that do all this automatically and it stops when it needs to. Also, they claim it's smell proof and they also claim that it is over 80% effective on the decarb. So if you know anything about decarbing, apparently when you put it in an oven, you know, each oven fluctuates, uh, it could be 20 degrees or more, and you have to sustain a certain temperature for a certain period of time and most decarbs are usually anywhere from 30 to 60 percent they claim by doing it in an oven. So with that said, let me see if I can pop this plastic off real quick without any issue. So we'll pull this plastic off and we'll pop it open. So that just twists off and inside there's a gasket. I don't think you can see that. There's a gasket that comes off here that makes it airtight so when the cap is on the gaskets inside it makes this airtight and here is your container I don't know if you can see that but it's pretty small it's smaller than the length of my hand it's actually smaller than the manual so this will probably hold they claim an ounce but I would not really feel comfortable putting an ounce in here just because I would assume that less is more with the airflow and that's pretty much all there is to it so if you look inside the device there's nothing in there now my guess is that this would use some kind of infrared heat which basically heats up the outside of the cylinder that's on the inside and maybe it pushes air or something through here I don't see any air vents but my guess is um, that could be an air vent at the bottom of that little nipple there. But my guess is it uses some sort of infrared, which is an indirect heat to uh, decarb your material. So basically that's what's inside the box. Uh, on the bottom here, it shows um, you know the batch number and whatnot. So I guess if there's any warranty concerns, there would be uh, that information for you. But other than that, that's really about it. We're gonna go ahead and give this a shot and see how long it takes and I'll document that. Like I said, it probably won't be in a video format today because I have got a sick kid who's being a little terror. Um, so we'll probably do some photos and, and whatnot, get some close-up shots of some stuff and see what's going on. All right, hope you enjoyed it. On to the next.